So hey folks, we're back here at Trucker's Equipment today. We are actually going to watch the process of installing this Ranch Hand Summit Series on the front of a 2016 Ram 1500 and this Sport Series on the back of that truck. I have a surprise for you coming up with these two right here. This is their Horizon Smooth Steel Series. This one right here is going to go on a 2017 Silverado and this is going to be the back bumper for it. Stay tuned. I think you're going to like this one. So we're in the process of unbolting the factory bumper now. As you can see, this bumper has six parking sensors that go across the front of it. And here are the corresponding holes on the Summit Series bumper that will be installed. <coughs> Removing the front bumper. Here's the factory mounts, and here's the factory fog light assemblies. And for those of you that don't know, you actually have the ability to adjust the fog lights just like your headlights using this adjustment screw. So Ben is actually in the process of removing the parking sensor harness and parking sensors off of this bumper so it can be reinstalled in the Summit Series. Here's a Ram 1500 truck without its front bumper. There is a ton of room under here. And in the process of prepping the new bumper for the parking sensors. And here's the parking sensor harness. If you haven't seen that, that's what your parking sensors look like when it's outside of the vehicle. Again, on a Ram, you're going to have six parking sensors. You have two for the corners, then you have four for the front. So this is a bracket that they actually have to mount to the back side of this assembly. And this is a factory fog light assembly to mount it inside of the housing right here so you can use your factory fog light. If you saw my video on the Ranch Hand Factory Tour, one thing that you'll notice is this punch plate material, it's not expanded metal like a lot of companies use where they essentially cut the design with slits and then they stretch it to make the actual punch plate. This is actually punched out with a machine and the thickness of this metal is actually 12 gauge steel. So even your punch plate on this is actually the same thickness as steel as many of the bumper materials that you'll see with competing bumpers. You'll also notice just the quality put together with the powder coating, the welds, how much more robust this bumper is than some of the competitors. Mounted the fog lights in the process of mounting the harness. Here's a front view of what the fog lights look like mounted in this truck. So one of the things that makes this installation not a do-it-yourself installation is the fact that you're going to have to actually extend your factory parking sensor harness because the spacing on the new Horizon bumpers isn't going to coincide directly with the spacing and the slack you have in your harness. So you'll have to cut through. And Ben, how many wires are inside of that um, split loom? There's, there's three, per, three per sensor. So there's three per sensor. I think at the thickest portion of this, there's about nine wires. And this is really one of the reasons why you want to go ahead and have a professional do it. So one thing to keep in mind is that not all of these bumpers are going to come with your sensor holes drilled in. In this specific case, they actually drilled these holes in for the sensors. However, you just have to make sure that the bumper you're getting is going to have the pre-drilled sensor holes because not all of them do. 
Also, if you're installing this on a Ram truck, you also need to realize that not all Ram trucks have the dual exhaust with the straight pipes. This specific bumper is designed for this truck, which has those straight pipes coming out. But when you're ordering it, you have to be very careful to make sure that you order the correct one because not all of them are gonna have these cutouts right here. So I wanna show you something interesting. So this is the mounting platform that actually connects to the front of the frame on the Ram truck where you're gonna mount this bumper. This piece of metal right here is over a quarter inch thick. And this little bracket that I have right here is the same thickness. So if you look at it, same thickness. I'm gonna show you the thickness of this steel versus the frame on the front of the truck. So this is the forward boxed section of the frame on this Ram truck. The steel right here, just want you to see the comparison in thickness. The steel right here appears to be about 12 gauge thick steel. And this is how thick the bracket is that's gonna be going up against it. So we're actually now in the process of hanging the bumper on the front of this truck. I know I showed you what the mounting brackets look like on the bumper versus the truck, but I'm gonna show you again once they butt the two up together. So now the bumper's actually been put up to the truck. Looks really good. I really like how they use this hoist system here because it allows them to make micro adjustments to the height of the bumper versus using a forklift, which many companies will do, either because it's what they have and that's all they're gonna use. And the problem with the forklift is it's very difficult to make really small micro adjustments with it. I wanted to show you guys a video of a 1500 series truck getting one of these bumpers because typically you only see them on three quarter ton and one ton trucks. In this particular case, the Summit series from Ranch End is a lighter weight full replacement bumper, which is ideal for a half ton truck while still offering a tremendous amount of protection. So here's the underside where it's actually mounting. They're not completely done tightening everything up. They like to keep it loose up front until they're completely done with setting it and positioning it simply because they want to be able to make adjustments to it slightly if they need to. But here's the factory bracket I was telling you about off the front of the truck. So this is actually from the front of the frame section itself, the ram metal. And this is the mounting bracket for the ranch hand bumper. So one of the things that they do here is they trim down the bottom of the little inner fender flap here because if you don't, when you turn and wind catches it, it can cause it to go into the tire itself. So that's another reason why you probably want to leave it to the professionals to install this. As you can see, they put the parking sensors in. The parking sensors have this little silver tint to them simply because they were made to match the chrome finish on the factory bumper. But they actually look really good. So one of the differences between the bumpers on a Ram versus some of the other trucks is that once you remove the license plate, you actually have two additional bolts that you need to take off to remove the rear bumper. They're actually in the process of removing the rear bumper now. And here's the back assembly. You got your three mounting locations right here, right there, and right there. And this is so they can transfer the sensors over to the new bumper. So here's the rear frame section, where it mounts up to. Looks like they double up the plates here on the back of the truck because you have this piece that comes around and it connects to this other por portion of the frame right here. And here's the rear metal of the box section itself. You know, it is really crazy how thin these box sections are on these trucks. And I'm not just saying Ram, but Ford and GM have all gone to using incredibly thin steel 
for the boxed frame sections on all of their half ton trucks. So I was just having a conversation here with Albert about the, the thickness of these frames and how thin that they've gotten, but we're looking at this C-channel frame on this 2017 Super Duty that they're putting a body on. Just and under 5 sixteenths of an inch. So this frame is right under 5 sixteenths of an inch thick, thicker than quarter inch steel. And this is just so you can see the truck that we're looking at. Now what are we doing here to the frame on this truck? Well. The reason this was cut is that this bed was sitting too far off of the cab. Okay. So I took off an inch and a half of the frame to slide that bed forward. So now I'm going to be about three and a half inches where previously I was five. Gotcha. Okay, so you just shorten it to make the back fit better. Correct. And once I get my risers and everything cleaned up and primed and painted, I'm going to get all that installed, uh, get my bed put on there, and get done with good it. Good to I go. Mean, it's, it's just a matter of doing a few, few minor modifications on it, and everything's going to fit in there just fine. Perfect. Appreciate it. Thank sure, you, Albert. Not a problem. Not, not a problem at all. Okay, guys, when I tell you that trucks have moved to a thinner gauge steel for their box frame section, so again, this is the box frame section on a Ram 1500. I realize this is a 1500 series and not a three quarter ton, but this is the piece of metal that they removed off of that F350 in the back there for the C-channel frame. So here's the rear bumper prepped and ready to go. One of the nice things about the Sport Series is it comes with these LEDs. Now are these reverse lights or are these like scene lights? Reverse. So these are actually going to be your reverse lights on this truck as well, which go in addition to the factory reverse lights that of course are on your tail lights. Again, it is pre-wired for parking sensors and they carry a model of this that has the parking sensor holes and a model that doesn't. So they're going to mount this one up to the truck. Another characteristic about the Sport Series is, is that the Sport Series is going to have this quarter inch thick plate around the front of it. So here's the bumper being placed up against the truck. They include this nice step on the side as well. There's one thing that's really nice about Ranch Hand bumpers is they put a really shiny powder coat on their bumpers. Some of the manufacturers have a powder coat, but it's kind of a dull color. It's a little shiny, but it's more like a semi-gloss, whereas this is a full gloss finish that they put on their bumpers. I pointed this out in a little earlier video, but it's really nice to see the exhaust cutouts that come on this truck as well, because as most people know, the Ram has an option to have these straight pipes coming off the back of it. This is the mounting of the hardware, mounting it to the factory bumper mounts. So here's the rear bumper installed with the parking sensors in place. As you can see, it's got four of them that run across the back. And again, these two LED lights right here are actually connected to the reverse light harness. So they'll act as additional reverse light lighting, which is good, especially when you have a camera. So the truck owner actually decided to go with this 32 inch light bar. It fits perfectly where we're gonna want it. And I really think it's gonna look good once it's mounted up. The light bar that they're going with is a race sport light bar. Again, 32 inch wide light bar. So another thing that they've done here is they actually painted the inside of the hole that they drilled and they protected the outside and bottom side of it because the last thing you want is a hole drilled through a steel bumper that could eventually, you know, collect water and rust. Just another piece of quality that they do here that I can appreciate. Now that's a good looking setup right there. It really fills that gap in between the top of the bumper and the bottom cross member on the brush guard. So we're about to connect the power to the harness to the battery. We spliced on a larger ring here so it would fit that properly. A lot of times it comes with these really cheap little ring connectors like this and he removes those and he puts the larger ones on so it bolts up properly as opposed to stretching and possibly coming off. Light bar is wired up and on, and it appears to be working. This light bar is very, very bright. This thing really has some great light output. So 
So here is the completed truck. It's a 2016 Ram Lone Star Edition. Have the Horizon front bumper. Thirty-two inch LED light bar. Here's the Sport Series bumper on the back. Really nice looking setup. I'm sure he's gonna be really happy with it when he comes and picks it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative if you're looking at getting this set up for your truck. I have to say it looks really, really sharp, and I really think you'd be happy with it. Anyways, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and if you subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone.